Good morning, TK. Happy Wednesday. We're going to get started today with some reading, and we're going to continue with our writer's workshop. So let's go over our objective and dive right in. Objective is what we are going to learn. I can use labels to tell my story. So yesterday we talked about what labels are, and we talked about how we're using beginning sounds to help us. And we're gonna be using these labels to help us tell our stories in our journals. So whatever we wanna write about, our labels are gonna help us to tell the story by telling the person who's listening or who's looking at your picture what's in your picture. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I've got my journal here and I'm gonna think about what I wanna write about today. So you can really think about anything when you're journaling. You can think about something that's happened before. You can think about something you're looking forward to. There's all sorts of things you can think about. So I think that I am going to journal about going on a hike. I really like to go on hikes and it's something that I like to do to get outside and be active and be healthy. So I'm going to draw or write about going on a hike. So when I go on a hike, I go up into the mountains. So I'm going to draw myself walking in the mountains. So here's my path that I'm walking on. And maybe in the distance, I'm going to draw some mountains that I'm walking towards. They're kind of far away though, so I'm going to make them smaller. Because remember, Mr. S taught us about how when things are closer, they look bigger and how when they're farther away, so like I can make the path getting smaller to show that it's going into the distance. And then I'm going to draw me walking on the path. So when I go hiking, I bring a backpack so that I can put some water and snacks in there. It's important to have water and to have some food when you go hiking too, so that if you get hungry, you can have snacks. So I'm gonna draw my backpack and a backpack is kind of like almost like a rectangle but with rounded edges so kind of like an oval too and I'm gonna have my backpack strap over my arms and I'm gonna be wearing a t-shirt because usually it's sunny when I go hiking and I'm gonna be wearing some shorts because usually when you go hiking and it's sunny and I'm gonna be wearing some hiking boots some shoes that have really good grip on the ground so that you don't fall or slip so they're almost like tennis shoes, but a little bit sturdier. And I'm going to put my hair in a ponytail because I want it to stay out of my face when I hike. Make sure I include some details like my ears, my eyes, my nose, my mouth, my smile. And there I am walking on my hike. And of course, then I'm gonna put in some details of my setting because remember, we don't have our setting cards anymore. So now I need to make sure that I kind of explain what my setting looks like. So I said I drew some mountains in the background here. I'm also gonna include some trees. And the trees that are up in the mountains are kind of, they kind of look like Christmas trees. They're pine trees. They're different trees than we might see like in our backyard. So I'm gonna make sure that I do pine trees specifically so that you can tell that I'm up in the mountains. And then I'm gonna put some little like bushes down on the side of the path, maybe some rocks down here, maybe some flowers, some wild flowers. That's something really beautiful you can see when you go hiking are beautiful flowers. And some other trees. I'm gonna make my trees smaller in the distance to show that they're farther away. and then bigger up at the front of the picture to show that that's right in front of you. And that's my sketch. So now I'm gonna take a second to color and I'll come back. All right, so I just finished coloring in my journal here. So now I can check off sketch and I can check off color. And now it's time for me to add my labels. So I'm gonna take my black crayon again because that's easier to see. And I'm gonna start going in and labeling my picture. So here I have me again. I'm gonna use my name to label me. And then I also have some trees. So I'm gonna use 
my letter T to label my trees. And I have a flower, I'm gonna use letter F. I also have some mountains. Now mountains begins with mountain. So I'm gonna use letter M, letter M for mountain. And I also have my path here. And p -p path begins with letter P. So I'm gonna use a P to label my path. And then I think I wanna sound out a word to try and write. Now, I might not know how to spell this word exactly, but I could sound it out. And what I'm doing here is I'm hiking. So I think I wanna sound out hike. Hike begins with a sound. So I'm going to start with H. I can hear that it sounds like The next sound is I. I. That sounds like letter I. K. Hi. K. 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 That's the K sound. So I'm going to make a K. Hi. K. K. Now the next sound is E. Hi. K. And that's an E. Hike. So I sounded out my word so I could write about it in my journal. So if you want to try and sound out a word too, even if you don't know how to spell it and even if it's not right, that's okay. I would love to see you try and sound out a word after you do your labels. So now I can check off add labels and I sounded out one of my words and there is my picture. I can't wait to see what you guys journal about today.